Alright. Last game. It's gonna be the ace match between Good Game Kids and Validus Gamers. Zeus guy taken out by Doobie's last match, and this is gonna be the TVZ on Altarium Stronghold, the biggest and most aces map ever, so we probably will see a very, very long game. In my opinion. So, in the top right corner, we have GGK's Good Kid, Good Game Kids, Rolling Doobies. Doobies. Yeah, that sounds like a drug. The Zerg, Red Zerg player. And, in the top left corner, we have XS Resolve, playing as the purple, stylish purple, Terran. And, he is playing for Validus Gamers. And, this is probably the biggest map in that pool. It is the biggest map in the map pool. Has the most bases. A potential of six bases. One, two, three, four, five. Five bases. I said five. Per person. And then that times up by four. That is 20 bases on this map. That's a lot of bases. And there is a natural inside your base. Bases inside bases with so many bases. I'm like... Is his name is... I don't think his name is Ice Cube. His name is... His name is... The guy from Pimp My Ride. That's his name. But yes, that is who I am. So we're probably going to go for macro builds. I don't think there's going to be anything fishy about this. Yep. Going to be a 15 expo for the Zerg. Probably going to be a 1 racks command center. Probably could have gone away with a 16 rat, uh, command center. And spotting pool is probably going to come up soon. 17 pool. 16 pool. Rocking out to that terror music. So, seems like a simple build order. Probably going to be a Reaper Expo. Yep, and two an X, two A. Two A Command Center. He will find out that it will be in this base once the screen door reaches here. And that gives a slight advantage to Terran, because the Terran can drop into the natural, because it's the closest. If the Zerg was right here, this is where his army normally would hang out, maybe here, here. That would be easier to just go right here, if the Terran was right here. But because Terran is over here, and the Zerg's over here, the Terran could easily drop here, here, and while the Zerg army is around here or around here. So it's just going to be a longer distance, a longer reacting time to the drop. But we'll see if that's utilized. It's, this is a pretty good dropping map, and the Reaper's gonna go in, get some scouting information, seeing that the pool's done, the gas is done. Maybe get a drone, maybe get a drone. Ah, uh, the wings are out. Oh, nope, saves it with the sport collar. It's a really good positioning. It's doing really good. Ooh, slips by. Really good micro, really good micro. Yeah. He probably assumes that the, the hatchery's done because of how late the spawning pool is. Another Reaper. So two Reapers. And these Reapers are not supposed to do damage, they're just to scout, to do some little harassment, maybe tick off the Zerg, get him off his game, miss something, but these players are not the highest players, but they're not the lowest, so they won't be full easily. One drone gets down, another drone will get down, uh, no, and this sport crawler did finish, so, like, it's not the worst thing that could happen, but I would prefer if they would have passed the game use it as a drone, because he doesn't need it now. Command center just finishing. Gonna change that into an orbital very soon. Two more Raxes are gonna go down. Aliens are gonna come out. And it's gonna be standard, standard early harassment with Hellions. Just standard play for the turn. Probably could take out these Zillions. See that there is the, there's this natural. Could take out one lane. Oh. The Zerg could have focus fired the Queen to hit the Weak, weak Reaper, and they're just gonna heal up and probably go back in. This is gonna take a third, but they're not gonna take a third. 
Because they're here. Aliens are going to come out. Starport might come out soon. Reactor, probably another reactor. Oh, yep. yep. Two reactors. Uh, only has one gas. He's going to get a second gas now. Speedlings are out, and these Reapers are not going to get trapped. And he's going to save. He's... Uh, he loses one Reaper and one Hellion. The second Reaper is probably going to get taken out right now. Yes. This Hellion is. Should fire, fire. They're in a the line, fire. That's going to wait until the second Hellion. So, overall, units lost. The Zerg is slightly ahead. And it was only. Those Reapers weren't not supposed to. They were cost efficient, kind of. They did get sound information to kill two drones. They didn't need to be lost, but like they're not that useful late game, so they weren't uh, extremely vital. But using one Hellion is not always the funnest thing. And Circling is going to scout all these Hellions. Get slipped by, probably gonna be a bird's gonna go in and see that. Starport's gonna get on, he's gonna see that. Tech Lab is researching, probably gonna be stim. Natural, slowly getting saturated. Bit, uh, SCV count is not higher anymore. What's higher? Italians are coming in. Kill Brassley. Cannot kill that spine crawler, but that spine crawler is not in the best place, so it could, uh, if this was saturated by drones. Hellions could sweep in through this way and just pick off some drones. Baneliness coming down. Probably gonna go for the same same style as last time. Baneling, Yuta, Zergling, maybe transition into the Ultra West. If it gets that the game. These Hellions are very. Oh. Good save, but didn't need to take that much damage. Free damage. Marine's gonna get here to take out that Lord. Factory doesn't have any tech lab or any reactor for widow mines, so I think he might go for a continuous harassment. Uh, third base has not started or gotten down. He is moving out, so he's probably going to start the third base soon. Because I don't think he's going to pressure. He might with these hatch or these two medevacs coming out. What he could do is drop into the natural and go into the third. Do his multi contact. These fine colors are good, but still. There's a lot of room back here to let Hellion slip by and do some practicing. There's not even, there's only one drone mining here. A lot of Bane Links coming out. Pretty saturated. Yeah. So he's gonna do a little push. He's gonna see all those Bane Links come out. And centrifugal, centrifugal hooks are not upgraded yet, so these are not gonna be speed, speed Bane Links for quite some time. He's gonna go through here, seeing that there's only one spine crawler compared to the two. Oh! Mm -hmm. One Bailey's gonna get picked off, Speedlings are gonna get picked off, they're gonna slowly go back out, maybe pick off doing the thing there. This fine car is gonna get down. Nope, trash trash please. Uh Bailings are not getting utilized, they're not getting they're not hitting what they need to hit, they're not being used. Their base is about to be finished and gonna land. This base is not being there's a lot of Zerglings. 38 Zerglings coming out. Uh all he has are Hellions and he only has he doesn't have that much, he has five. So all these speedlings are not gonna do that much damage. Bailings gonna get some hits. Good splitting, nice splitting. Widow mine, the first widow mines are gonna come out very soon, and those are gonna be very helpful. I'm gonna have a drop probably into the natural right here. Yep, and as he does that, oh he's gonna back out, he's not gonna pressure the third. But there's gonna be a drop. And he's gonna get some drones. One, two, he could get a queen. That'd be nice. And he should just pick up. Oh, nice positioning. He should just pick. No, he should leave. He's probably gonna scout. He's scouting with this man back. To see what they have or not. Spine crawler, spore crawler. Usual stuff. Third, he needs to lift this up. Get it. More racks is coming. One one is on the way. Zerg probably only has just a oh, one. One armor is gonna come soon. Two two ground attack. Melee attack is gonna be started. We don't mind protecting the front, but not the left side of the natural. The circling's just gonna scout him. I don't think the circling will be able to kill the whole 
command center. A little undersaturated in the in base natural. I would I would probably move some of the SVVs here. Yeah, that's and then oops, and then rally this there. We don't really need to do that. So the Terran's just in a comfortable spot. He's gonna be on the critical three bases where he's just gonna continue pressuring. Yep, he's gonna start the pressure now where he just continually pressures the uh, Zerg, and Zerg until the Zerg either breaks or the Zerg breaks through him long enough to get those three boards or those Ultralists that they really need. The Zergling, Zerg is, doesn't have any Mutalisks to take out those Widow Mines. Doesn't have any Mutalisks to really buffer the Zerglings. Take out the Metavax. Very nice placement. He could probably move this. Takes only a small amount of his army. Good, good, good Widowmine hit. Oh, this is going to be a really good hit right now. So he's just going to pressure. Slightly pressure. Uh, split, split. No splits. Widowmine taking some hits. He could probably move this Widowmine up here because he's not using that path anyways. He is spreading his Widowmines pretty nicely though. He has a nice field, nice coverage. Not too many women might be in place. Spire's just going down, so he's not going to have any mutilus support to harass or support killers or medevacs for quite some time. Spire is also one of those things that take forever. Spire and Dark Shrine. He's probably going to get a scan here soon. He pre stim. Ooh, another stim. Uh, no splits. He's going to get us around. Little mines. Oop, nice pickup. Ooh, bang hit. Oh, that was a really good Widow Mine hit right there. Took out a lot of units right I don't want to say right there, but it did take a lot of units right there. 52 Zerglings are coming out. The Zerg has a lot of gas, but he can't use it because he's waiting for that Spire. Still 40 more seconds, getting a fourth base, and the pressure is just going to still come on. And during this pressure, the Terran can easily get a fourth base. Is he getting a fourth base? No. Oh, now he is, but the Zergling is going to delay it for a second. She can take out. A little base is taking out the fourth player. Pressure's a natural. Uh, gonna get surrounded, just picks up. There's no new list, so he can't deal with that. The fourth is gonna get picked off. That was a really good play from Resolve. These units are gonna get taken out, but it's okay, they, they pay for. Oh, is there going to be some of are gonna get picked off. And the fourth base is gonna get started. And it's just going to be continued pressure, more little mines going to come up. Mutalists are finally coming out, there's going to be eight of them out on the field. He is supply blocked. This might, this is a very bad time to be supply blocked. He needs as many units as he can. Seven more Bailings are coming out. More Mutalists are going to come out. He is possible. Ooh, that was a lot of Bailings on one Marauder. Stims back, should split. Oh, doesn't split, but doesn't need to. They're having some lag for the casters. Uh, split, split, split! Oh, that's a lot of hits. There's not going to be enough Marines to... Oh, and just kidding. Resolve might just be able to push in. There's 30, 60 Zerglings coming out, but it might not be out soon enough. Two more Widow Mines. Take out the natural. We can take out this natural. And just be done with it. Oh, he needs these Widow Mines down. Down, down, Widow Mines down. Bro. Gonna take out one. It's gonna clean up all of this. There is a widow mine up here. Two. Good widow mines, but uh, the zerglings are gonna go slowly down. Oh, this is gonna be a little bit widow mine here. Oh, do not split it correctly. And there's enough things. He's gonna see all the widow mines, but. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. That's a lot of Zergling kills. Oh, again. Mutalists are coming out. Terran is just... They're just going to put another wave of attack. And he's going to start... He's starting 3-3. Zerg probably has 2-2. Two, two. So they're on equal uh, upgrades. He might... He's going to take out the, the outbase natural. There's not enough units to deal with this. Only 24 Zerglings are going to come out on the field, and six of them are going to get instantly put off. Yeah, it looks like this might be the game-winning match. Valorous Gamers might have 
I have a PMTGK. It's all going in, in the base. He's in the main base. What am I hit on the Muta list? The Muta lists are dying. There's 11 Muta lists on field. And GG. Uh, this game is wins. And that was a very...